Lift up your hands. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Elizabeth, also Zonzi. We are from Mabopaniko Winterfeld. Uh, actually, we came here because uh, we wanted to start a business. We've been, we have been doing business, but it was not moving forward. 
You would start the business, but it would fail. So we wanted to start something new. That is when we decided to come for a one-on-one -on -one session to receive deliverance first. When we saw the man of God, he told us what we were here for before we could tell him anything concerning business and how we never made use of the money we were getting. He also revealed that I am a hardworking man, but I am stagnant. We have three children, so he told us not to have the fourth child because there is an attack that will end her life if we pursue to have the fourth child. We confirmed the prophecy because that is what happened with the third child. There were some complications. She was even declared dead. When I was pregnant, they said the child was outside of the placenta and I would have to get the child before time. I told my pastor and he said I would get the child in time and nothing would happen. When I had to deliver the child, they said the child's heart had stopped, but I had faith that my child was alive, even though they kept telling me the child was dead. When the child was finally delivered, because the child was outside the placenta, it was quite a struggle and painful experience for the placenta to come out. They gave me a pill that I had to place under my tongue, and they instructed me to sleep, and in the process, from a distance, I had them declare me dead, but it was difficult for me to tell them that I am still alive. By the grace of God, something enabled me to move, and that is when they realized that I was still alive. The child is still alive and will be turning three years on the 1st of April. Because Satan saw that he had failed, when my child was about a month to two months old, after I had taken him to the clinic, I was transferred to the hospital as they said it was an emergency. When I got to the hospital, they said the child must undergo a stomach operation as his intestines had tangled up. When I got to the hospital, they decided to wait for a year before conducting the operation. But ever since then, no operation was ever done to my child. The child is normal and healthy. The man of God also told us that God wants to use us. He said there is grace upon our lives to do business and to preach the word. I feel free because the man of God told me everything I wanted to know without me having to explain anything to him. I am also happy because what was worrying me is to know my calling. So the apostle told us what our calling is. We will now do everything with direction. All I can say is, trust in God. Don't lose hope because there are many things God has in store for us. We just need to persevere and trust in God and God will manifest his blessings upon us if we can remain faithful because our God is a jealous God.